Hello, I'm Captain Stacy Spell of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief update overview of an incident that occurred on May 30th, 2020, around 7.09 p.m. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about a law enforcement related injury, also known as Leary, that occurred in Wilshire Division in the City of Los Angeles on May 30th, 2020. A Leary is a use of force incident where an individual requires hospitalization. This particular incident occurred in connection with a previously documented Leary, which is why we're updating the incident with the new information we've learned. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Los Angeles police officers assigned to Olympic Division Patrol were assigned to a mobile field force for crowd control at the intersection of Beverly Boulevard and Grove Drive to the citywide protest and civil unrest. A mobile field force is simply a group of officers who are easily deployed on foot or in vehicles to address rapidly developing incidents. While at scene, the officers were being assaulted as protesters threw rocks and bottles at them. I'm going to need CP. We're going to need some more uh, mobile solar, mobile solar force over again to Beverly and Stanley. This is where the large group is. Uh, I've got officers taking rocks and bottles, uh, and there's going to be numerous uh, structure, or excuse me, uh, fires in the, in the canisters. The officers used beanbag shotguns and 40 millimeter less lethal launchers to target individuals who were throwing objects at officers, such as rocks glass bottles, and frozen water bottles. On July 31, 2020, the Los Angeles Police Department released a critical incident community briefing, which involved the leery of a male protester identified as C.J. Montano. Since then, the department has become aware of a second leery incident involving a female protester that also occurred on May 30, 2020, around 7.09 p.m. The beanbag shotgun is a Remington 870 shotgun, which has been configured with a green slide handle and stock rifled barrel and side saddle ammunition holder. The color green is used to signify that the shotgun is for the sock round only, not lethal munitions, and designed to fire a cloth sock filled with small metal pellets. The primary target area is the naval area or belt line. Officers may target the suspect's arms, hands, or legs when practicable. The 40 millimeter less lethal device fires a foam projectile round. The round strikes the person's body and is intended to cause pain, and while there may be bruising, it is designed to be non-penetrating by distributing energy over a broad surface area. A female protester, later identified as Patricia Hill, was standing at the intersection when she alleged she was struck on the face with a less lethal projectile. According to Hill, she was transported to a local hospital by an unknown individual where she was medically treated for a facial injury and released. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly, where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here's the body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident.
This incident was originally reported as a civil lawsuit complaint investigation, and on November 22, 2020, it was determined that LAPD's Force Investigation Division would investigate this incident as a categorical use of force, Leary. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. They will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is completed, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendations to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The Board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics and use of force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you would like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.